In today's video, we take the $95 mystery miracle car to the skate park to find out if it's really the MJX Hyper Ghost Slayer that I claimed it to be in the last video. We also build a test track, and then we race a John Deere tractor against a Traxxas Slash because why not? Oh, I got left. This video should be a blast. Let's get into it. There's still a long way to go on the Rec RC test track. We've got the oval figured out, but we're not. the track's not gonna actually be an oval. We're gonna have it to where we can make it an oval if needed and if desired, but it's gonna be a proper track with turns and jumps and whoops and straightaways and everything. And it's gonna be able to comfortably and easily accommodate 10 scale cars and A scale cars. And it's gonna be an absolute blast. And Tato and I are actually working on it today. And right now we're gonna drag the track and basically we're gonna take this pallet with the chain link on one side, some weight on the other side, and we're gonna drag it with that John Deere tractor right there, and it actually does a remarkably good job at actually smoothing out the surface of this track. It takes several passes, a lot of passes, but it kinda acts like sandpaper for the ground, and it is surprisingly effective. Show us how it's done. Well, he's off, he's gonna drag the track, and after several passes, it really does start to smooth out remarkably well. Oh, we forgot the bricks. Bricks help. There we go, cinder blocks for weight. It's pretty impressive how well this actually works. I posted a picture of the community post of the track we first started and it was quite a mess. And after a bit of effort uh, and much more effort to come, it's starting to kind of take some recognizable shape. But this is nothing what it's gonna look like when it's completed. keeps breaking because we had it wrapped just right around this and it wears right through the rope. So Tato fashioned sort of a, what we call that, a backyard tow hitch kind of thing. I guess, yeah. Yeah. And another nice thing about dragging the track is it's giving us all kinds of material to build what's gonna become a crawler course. We're gonna try to have two, maybe one for big crawlers and one for small crawlers since we're kind of doing a bit with crawlers now. We've actually tried to use a pickup truck and the Kia to drag this with, but this little tractor is actually better than both of it, seems like. It doesn't leave ruts in the track. Yeah, it's not as heavy, it doesn't leave them big ruts. Hey man, that looks like a fast truck. You wanna race? <laughs> All right. All right, and we're off. Oh, it is a fast truck, I can't catch it. Super speed mode with the tractor as fast as it can go. Can't catch the short course truck. <laughs> That's enough track working for one day. We made a lot of progress today. The center of this track was completely undrivable, and that's gonna be where a lot of our turns are. It's gonna have like a bit of a cross section with a jump, so we really had to get that smoothed out. We made some big progress, but now. In the last video, we accidentally discovered a real potential threat to the MJX Hyper Ghost thrown at the top of the budget RC world. This car is actually faster, 48 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour and around $50 cheaper. So it's faster than a HyperGo, but the real question remains, is it as tough as a HyperGo? <laughs> second jump we broke the front body mounts right off easily the most air I've ever seen an RC get here though There is a wing from my old MJX Hypergo. It had to have been laying here for months. Now we have a spare for this car. Other than the front body mount, so far this car is holding up perfectly. Drive shafts seem to be okay, which is kind of amazing because how thin they are. No real drastic bends. And the shocks haven't broken. 
Let's go for more. That has to be the most front flips I've ever seen in my life. I wouldn't say we landed on the wheels, but we did end up on the wheels. Oh, that was a rough landing. <laughs> Incredible. Don't know how this car can tolerate this. Oh, perfect landing. Of course, if you buy a car like this, you're not just going to take it to the skate park. This is definitely holding up in terms of just general durability. Oh, God. The amount of air this car is able to achieve is incredible. We do have one headlight out. Oh, nice landing, but what a head bounce. So far, I've got to say, this car is just about as durable as a Hypergo. Maybe not quite, but it's not far off. That was a nasty one, really nasty one. We got one of our headlights back. All right, so far the only actual breakage, as far as I can tell, is just the front body mounts. Nice. The car has amazing air control, it's pretty incredible. This has gotta be the best $90 RC car ever. <laughs> I think the motor came loose from its mount, and I think the gear mesh is aloft just a little tiny bit. Let's take it back to the garage and see what's what. So it turns out this car actually can take quite a beating. Miraculously, the drive shafts seem fine and none of the shocks broke, which is amazing because they're just cheap friction shocks. So I did not strap my 3S battery in. It's a little bit too tall for the compartment, so I just stuck it there and hoped for the best. I do not recommend that. Underneath, everything looks okay. Everything appears to be okay, though I do suspect that the motor may have come loose from its mount. Bit of binding there. Let's investigate. Well, the gearing all looks perfect, and much to my pleasant surprise, the differentials are greased, and the gear mesh is set really well. It's basically perfect. Just that little bit of wiggle, which is what you want. All metal gearing as well. How nice. And I see why this car is so fast now. It's 4,000 kV, and that's a pretty big pinion gear and a pretty small spur gear to a very small car. I can't find any problem with the gearing, but it does seem that I may have put a slight bend in the main drive shaft. But that's no problem. I have several drive shafts just like it. That'll probably be about a 10 minute fix. So the damage report as it stands is other than the front body mount, which is completely still usable, and a slight bend in the main drive shaft which is now repaired this car survives a skate park otherwise completely unharmed including these friction shocks which probably are the reason the main drive shaft bent the friction shocks allow for a bit of chassis slapping to happen and if i'd switched to oil field shocks that probably wouldn't have been the case but otherwise completely unharmed which is massively impressive for the price of this car i was not expecting that absolutely expected to bring this car home completely destroyed 20 to 50 dollars cheaper can easily do 50 miles per hour this one does 40 not a massive difference, but this is still a faster car. And in terms of durability, it is right on par with the Hypergo. Maybe not quite as durable over time, but certainly held up to the skate park tremendously well. And for a $20 to $50 cheaper price tag, this is one tough budget RC car to beat. And if I had to pick one of these cars today, knowing what I know now about both of them, I would probably pick the Hypergo only because both these cars have part support. This car's part support, you've got to really dig to find the parts. You will find the parts, they are out there, but you're going to do some digging and then you're going to do a lot of waiting. The Hypergo, however, is a lot more popular of a car. You're not going to go to the hobby shop and buy parts for this car, but you can find them all over Amazon, Banggood. I'm pretty sure MJX has a website of their own as well. If you can't buy the parts from them, you could probably find out where the parts are from them. But if this car had more readily available part support that was more reliable, I think I would pick this car. But as it stands right now today, if I had to choose one, I would choose the Hypergo. The only deciding factor being I would have an easier time finding parts for this car, though this car is a tremendous 
performer for the price. I've never seen anything as cheap perform as well as this. And with that, let me just say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Remember, it's not about miles per hour. It's about smiles per mile, of which both of these cars provide by the boatload. Have fun, and we will see you in the next one.